What is up, familia? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If not, smile because it will get better. Today, I'm gonna be doing a quick little tutorial video, and it's a revised version of what I did in the past. What I'm talking about is, remember you guys how I did a mega video on how to share files or folder? Well, I'm gonna be doing the reversion of it, and what I'm gonna be teaching you guys is basically how to do the same exact same thing, sharing a file or folder in any online storage um, kind of website. So, for example, this will include. Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, Mega, um, I think it's Fire, Mediafire, something like that, um, iCloud, stuff like that. You know, basically anywhere that you will upload and share stuff with other people or just save up space in your computer. Now, with that said, a quick little disclaimer is that in other, in my last video, people were asking like, hey, you know, is it the same thing as doing a downloadable, shareable link? And it's not. A downloadable shareable link is what you will see on YouTube channels where people are sharing templates for intro, or sharing templates for, you know, logos or stuff like that, basically. So it's two different things. Sharing a file or a folder is basically letting people or specific people, you know, mess with that folder. Doing the downloadable link is letting people anywhere in the world who look at that link do stuff with that or download that stuff. So for this example, I will be using Google Drive. I already signed in, I already made a folder which I'm gonna share just to save you guys some time. So for example, this is a desktop folder. It has desktop stuff that I just randomly put here. So for example, I have three little videos for vacations I've gone on and I just decided to just post in here just to make this easier. So in almost every single website that you go to, if you right click the folder and you go to share, you will go ahead and it's gonna ask you, Hey, can you give me an email of the person you're going to share it with? So for example, because I have not put this email, I'm going to go ahead and put the email that I'm going to be using. So I use this a couple times as a test drive just to make sure that everything's working fine. So I'm going to send it to my other account. I'm going to go ahead and send it. Then all you have to do is either log into the other account or the other person just has to go with you and then log into their account. Whichever is the case, they're probably going to get an email. I got an email telling me like, hey, they sent this little desktop thing to your account go ahead and check it now I'm gonna show you guys real quick that if I press open because I am like logged into the same account that I was in this tab it's not gonna show me you know what's up it's just gonna be like hey you know you, you share this file so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out I signed into my other account on Internet Explorer because ew why not and I'm gonna go here where it says share with me the desktop files folder is right there. Everything that I saw is right here. And if I want to download it, I could do the same same thing right here. Just download it and do whatever I want to. So right here, I have all the options that the original owner of the file has. Now, with that said, guys, in almost every single you know program they used to, Mega, Google Drive, OneDrive, they all have this share with me um, tap there with me. I'm not gonna go and log into every single website because I know it's a pain in the ass I want to keep this short to you guys and with the downloadable link option I will be doing that in another video I don't want to put it together because it will get confusing for certain people so with that said guys I hope this works for you guys any questions just leave it down in the comments below like I said it almost works for every single website that you go to that it has this option so till next time guys this has been your boy your PR peace